fast but then when you push on it it breaks into those beautiful flakes What's up guys? Alright, so we're here in Marty's kitchen. So I might not be Bobby Filet, but I can cook up some good food for bodybuilders. So going to give you guys some tips at the end for prep food. Uh, right now I'm getting some cod loins ready. I've been eating a lot of fish here, uh, about five meals a day, and then I have one red meat meal a day. Um, so I'm going to show you guys kind of how I prepare my cod and get it ready. And then I'm also going to show you guys how I cook up my red meat meal here at the end of the day. So first things first with the cod loins, get them thawed, get them ready, get them out. And then we're going to take them, we're going to put them on a cutting board here. We're going to have paper towel on top and bottom. Um, so drying the cod off here and getting those cod loins to not be slimy on the outside, uh, but dry so that when I put them in the air fryer and they start cooking up, they actually are going to start to get a crust on the outside of the loin and then keep all the moisture of the fish inside of the fish. It's going to make your fish taste a lot better, guys, and it's really going to make a difference, especially for you guys that don't like fish or enjoy fish. Um, you dry it out and fish gets even 10 times worse. So this is a good way to keep it moist and a good way to really keep it flavorful as well as flaky. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple of my favorite seasonings that go with this and then kind of give you the times on the air fryer. But this is plain and simple and straightforward and really easy for guys uh, to just throw in the air fryer, walk away and come back and it's going to be an awesome meal ready to go. Alright guys, so I just have like three seasonings here that are kind of my favorites. They're uh, like zero calorie essentially and they go really great on fish. So one is this garlic, citrus and basil. Um, next is a blackened seasoning. Um, any seasoning like this is great on fish. Cajun, blackened. Um, I enjoy the blackened a little bit better than the Cajun just because at the end I usually end up getting some heartburn. Um, so the blackened kind of eliminates getting the heartburn because it's not as spicy but still has a lot of those um, hints and flavors of cayenne and stuff in there. As well as the everything bagel seasoning guys. This you're going to see me use a lot. This is a really great seasoning and honestly the best thing about it is it gives a lot of texture. So this I'll be putting on the top of the cod loins and it kind of just helps give them like a nice crust um, and a little crisp to them. So really like this on the cod as well. Um, and so I'm going to season these things up and get them thrown in the air fryer for you guys. Alright guys, so the first batch I'll do is blacken. I kind of like to cook my fish in batches of flavors. So I'll do this one. Um, next I'll do the citrus. And then last I'll do um, a little bit of the everything. But with the everything here, I'll also throw it in with a couple of the other ones. Just to give them texture as well. So probably with this blackened seasoning, I'm going to throw in a little bit of everything as well. Just to help give it a little more texture. Um, and then I'm just going to throw these in the bottom of the air fryer. Very plain and simple. Um, and I'll just kind of circle them around the outside here um, until there's no space left. We'll throw these in for about 13 minutes, 12 to 15. Um, really depending on the thickness of your fish and the efficiency of your air fryer. I kind of have an older one. I feel like in the newer ones, 10 minutes or 11 minutes is a little better. Uh, but this one's had the shit used out of it for about the last three years of bodybuilding. So okay, you guys can see. Like I said, it seals it on the outside. It kind of has a crust. But then when you push on it, it breaks into those beautiful flakes. That's how you make perfect fish. Especially in the air fryer, it makes it easy, guys. Really not a lot of work here. Just uh, turn it to the time and let it do its thing. But the key is drying it off and good seasoning. This next, garlic, citrus, basil. This one's great on fish too, so the same thing. Light spread here. Gonna turn the air fryer all the way up. Like I said before, this one turned out perfect about 13 minutes. So we're gonna do that again. All right guys, another round of fish. Cooked and done. Look at that, perfect and flaky again. Just falling apart. Just how we like it. So these are cooked up just right. And uh, 
we can get this last round in. And then we're gonna cook some steak. All right, guys, so end of the night steak meal. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to have the perfect steak meal, or at least what I think is the perfect steak meal. So in here, I got some cubed up London broil or um, really lean steak, whatever you guys have in your diet generally. Um, as this being a little bit of a fattier meal, uh, so I do a couple things here. So one, I do a slight, just a tiny little drizzle of olive oil, just enough that when I mix the meat up, it all kind of gets coated so I don't need to spray the pan. It'd be just like spraying the pan. So not a lot of olive oil there. Then salt and pepper, guys, and you want to let the, the red meat get to room temperature. That's a big, big deal. It's really going to make the red meat get uh, tender, especially with the salt on there. The salt's going to eat into the meat. It's going to start to tenderize it for you. And then we're going to let this sit out, like I said, get it to room temperature, maybe an hour, two hours before your meal. Um, so maybe when you get ready to eat the meal before you set the beef out. That's what I did. So I got this set out, ready, salt and pepper, room temperature, and then last but finally not least the final touches on it is everything bagel seasoning so this just really makes the steak hit a home run especially when you're on low carb here so this meal for me is just red meat and asparagus um, so this is really gonna hit awesome I'm excited about this a um, couple other pointers or tricks to make your steak really out of this world make sure the pan is on high and really really hot before you put the steak in there and then obviously medium rare is what you want your steak because if you overcook it it tastes like shit beef it's what's for dinner finished product boom there it is steak and asparagus at your finest it's actually really good